Hey guys, Cloud here, and today we're going to be going over how to update a data pack from 1.16 to 1.17 specifically, uh, just kind of going over the general changes that there's been and uh, what little adjustments you'll have to make along the way. There isn't too many changes, uh, but they are kind of crucial. So one of the major changes, and I put together a data pack called old data pack that we has a couple functions that show the changes. There was no changes other than functions and there was some additions to uh, advancements, but it's not a change. So you don't have to edit anything for it. Uh, there was one change relating to uh, advancements that is something you will have to take a look out, make a look out for. And that is with how you specify items. So I'm on this website called miso.github.io. It's a great generator for advancement files, predicate files. So one of the things you need to update here uh, is if that item is not an item tag, if it's like a singular item, it has to be in a sub uh, grouping called items and you have to put them as a list. So basically everything is treated sort of like an item tag uh, in the sense that uh, you have to have item and then you have to say items and then you have to list all the items that apply and in a lot of those cases in your old packs where this is broken you will just have one item so you just list the name of the item in game so maybe it is just a stick uh, and then you keep the other stuff exactly how you had it before so how count gets put in it gets put in here so you just replace where it said something like I believe it said name and then the name of the item you just say items and then, and then list the items as an array. So that's just kind of a side thing, but that's the only change to advancement type stuff. So in terms of commands, uh, the big change here is replace item was replaced with item. <laughs> as funny as it sounds. So here's an error because replace item is not a real command. Uh, so yeah, replace item gone. So what you, how one, there's a lot of different things you can do to fix this. Uh, so the syntax for the new version is slash item, then you put replace. Now you can do entity at s weapon dot main hand just as you had it before, but then you have to put with and then that. So uh, if you had a previous command, you would just kind of replace it like this. So just take a look at the uh, how I change the syntax. So replace item gets turned to item replace and stone gets replaced to with stone. Uh, and it's just more flexible that way because there's other things you can do with the slash item command that's new. Uh, so take a look into that. Uh, but this is about how to update things. So when I type reload, now my main hand is stone. Cool. So I fixed that. Uh, another, the only other change that I can think of off the top of my head besides those two things is force load. And this is actually a very big change. So I have this function that will summon a zombie, add force load a chunk, and TP the zombie to the chunk, say hi as the zombie, and remove the force load, and then also kill the zombie. Okay. So if I type reload, and then I type function load 999, you will see it said hi, but it did not say hi as the zombie. It should say hi zombie, but instead it just says hi. And why is that? In the previous version, this kind of logic did hold true, but they added, they made chunk loading asynchronous, which means that when you force load a chunk, it will actually load, not when you force load it, but some amount of ticks later asynchronous with the ticks uh, ticking. So essentially, and the reason they did that is because theoretically it should boost performance when you're walking into unloaded chunks, like when players are exploring the world. I don't know if it really does, but all it means is it adds uh, a lot of annoyance to us creators. So to account for this, and it'll be different in everybody's case here, uh, but this is how I would fix it in this function. So I would say, uh, I would have load 999CB, okay? And in load 999, I would get rid of this and do schedule function uh, old load 999cb. So what you'll want to do is make sure that you don't even TP the zombie into that unloaded chunk either because some weird stuff can happen there too. Uh, so what I did here is I just force loaded the chunk and waited until the chunk was probably loaded and then did my whatever I wanted to do. And I think that five ticks is enough. There you go. It says hi zombie just properly. Uh, but if you don't have this stuff, then obviously it cannot say hi zombie. 
so yeah, this is something you'll have to adjust to, and it's really annoying uh, to get the timing enough for what's good enough, uh, and it will mess up a lot of your commands in terms of uh, making it look, it looked pretty before because you could do it all in one line, but then it doesn't look pretty anymore because now you have to have kind of a break in the logic. Uh, so yeah, definitely annoying, but if it's a change that'll help with rendering chunks in servers, then I'm really all up for it. Anyways, that's all the changes today, guys. Not too bad. Uh, I just felt uh, obligated to do this since I did this for 1.16, but uh, if you like that, leave a like, and uh, thanks for watching. See ya.